is stuck, stuck, stuck. She's horses in the restaurant, motorcycles in the restaurant. Everything is possible here. <laughs> Messi. Thank you. You're welcome. Messi, au revoir. <laughs> Good morning, internet. It is 20 past 10 in the morning. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome here to St. Louis, Senegal. Whew. I have been taking it easy this morning. I didn't feel like rushing and getting up early. I took it really easy. And uh, today I'm riding to Dakar. It's, uh, it's got a big day, well not in distance wise, it's only 250 kilometers so that's why I was like, you know what, I don't have to rush but kind of reaching Dakar is of course a pretty big milestone for me it kind of marks the first leg of this journey kind of in my head I've kind of divided my Africa trip in a couple of legs, a couple of segments and to reach Dakar was kind of the first one but before I get there I am first going to ride into town here in St. Louis because I still need insurance for Alaska and there's an insurance company where I can buy insurance for pretty much all of West Africa and if I'm lucky even up until the Congo so obviously I would love that because then I don't have to worry about fixing insurance for months to come so I'm gonna see if that uh, insurance office is open if they're not open I will just uh, try and do it in Dakar so when I reach Dakar today the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the customs office again <laughs> because in fact the customs thing is still not sorted if you remember from the last episode I got a pass avant, basically just a pass for two days to reach Dakar and there I will get my Carnet de Passage completely like stamped and sorted. So I still have one customs hurdle to take. It smells very fishy up here. <laughs> it's interesting because St. Louis is kind of again on a little peninsula pretty much exactly the same as Dakhla in Morocco and the Wadibu in Mauritania also here on the coastline you get like these peninsula shaped areas and that's where they built the cities now this is a pretty busy part of town this is the market I wasn't planning to ride straight through the markets again I already did that so <laughs> I'll stick on the stick to the road this time but here on my right is a market right crossing the water here Some real cool paintings here. Look at this. Is it open? Yes, it's open. 
Bonjour. Bonjour. Insurance? Euh, ok. Je pense, oui. That was an absolute breeze. Oh, really e easy, efficient, quick. That was brilliant. Let me see. And now I have insurance up until yeah the Congo. So all of West Africa, I don't have to worry about insurance. I am all sorted. So really happy with that. Normally, of course, I always arrange insurance right at the border. That's what I normally do, but where I crossed the border at Bogey, well, there was nothing. <laughs> there was no insurance to be bought there. And then at that Rosso border, where I went, it was, uh, that was such a terrible place. I didn't, yeah, I was just being attacked by so many people. Everybody was shouting at me and trying to, I don't know, crowding me and everything. So I felt so uncomfortable there that I just immediately got out of there. <laughs> I was like, there is no way I am going to sort out insurance with everybody coming after me. But this was fine. Ah, great! Okay, this is the second bridge. Now I am crossing, well, pretty much mainland <laughs> Senegal. This is the last bridge. It is a gorgeous day. Probably be a little bit of a fight through traffic, but once I'm out of the main part of the city, it will hopefully be a bit better. Oh, it's market day here as well. Oh, I just love how colorful the clothing is of the people here, especially the women. They wear such colorful outfits and like really cool headdresses as well. It's so vibrant, I love it. Lots of donkey traffic. So rather busy here. tomatoes well that car must clearly be sponsored by Nike it's a little bit congested here I am very close to Dakar oh well, actually this is already Dakar I'm trying to work my way through a lot of traffic I had a lot of traffic before as well so it's today's ride is not very scenic <laughs> it's just <laughs> try to get to the car that's it I 
just trying to keep on moving because it's so hot. That's easier said than done. Those scooter guys are just a little bit skinnier. They don't have panniers. They can squeeze through smaller gaps than me. Look at this garden though. How pretty. Well, actually it's not a garden. It's, I think these are plants for sale. traffic and then on the right <laughs> the most amazing plot <laughs> look at this so cool okay Oof. let's try it on this side get through this, hey?
speed is stuck, stuck, stuck. Oof, that was bad. I suffered for a long time. It's supposed to be here. Customs, no. Here. No. Yes, here. It got so hot. At some point, even Alaska's temperature light came on. It was that hot. Not good. Bonjour. Wrong office. Somewhere else, he says. Okay, it must be here then. Yes! Oh. Alright, I found a place to stay for today. Quite a nice room. And I also have a small balcony. Wow, well, today it, it all went a little bit different. I really thought, ah, oh, today I'm just gonna have a relaxing ride to Dakar and la di da di da. It was extremely hot today. And then at some point, as I closed in on Dakar, the traffic was just crazy. And I spent a really long time fighting that traffic. And Alaska got so hot at some point, the light went on that the engine was getting too hot. But yeah, I, I couldn't really stop. So I was worried about Alaska and I was boiling myself. <laughs> and then the custom office was in a different place. Eventually the custom process itself went really smooth. So I went in, they just stamped my carnet and I was out in like five or 10 minutes. So that went really fast. And then I thought, okay, let's quickly find a place to stay. And then the, the place where I went, it was full. And then I went the wrong way and oh man. <laughs> <laughs> and my camera battery had died and I was like, ah, there's no way I'm going to stop and change the battery. So yeah, I'm exhausted again. Uh, anyway, that the main point is, is that I have an important message because I have reached Dakar. And it also means that there's going to be a break on the channel. I don't know yet for how long. But the reason is that it's really difficult for me to keep up with three, to produce three episodes per week, get three episodes per week uploaded, which is a nightmare. While also being on the road, sorting out logistics, sorting out, well, from now on, I have to sort out visas and it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. Um, and I need some packages. I need things. And to be honest, it's a miracle that in my whole America trip, I just managed to do it all the time because it's just really when I need something I need a, a motorcycle part or I need something for my cameras I need to send it ahead but I don't know my route I don't know when I'm gonna be where and then I have to contact a guest house and ask if they want to accept a parcel for me and sending parcels to well especially I think West Africa it's I mean I can forget it it's it's not super reliable it can take forever so to plan everything in a way that everything keeps on running and i can manage to keep on producing three videos per week of everything it's it's impossible i have to admit defeat in this part of the world i'm not it's just not gonna be possible for me so for that reason i thought you know what um every now and then there's just going to be a little break on the channel so i have time to prepare myself for the next leg, get stuff sorted that I need, get motorcycle parts, get pretty much to, to make sure that I keep this like a one woman show on the road. I need some time. So long story short, there'll be a little break while I kind of prepare myself for the next leg of West Africa. So uh, I'm thinking maybe two weeks, but hey, don't pin me on it. It just all depends how quickly I can get everything done and how quickly I'm ready. So. That was it for today and for the coming few weeks maybe. I hope you can understand and that you somehow enjoyed this video even though, yeah, as I said, uh, there's nothing really I could show you today. I just had to make it to Dakar and at least now Alaska is fully legal in Senegal. <laughs> That's the main thing. Give me a thumbs up if you still liked it. And uh, whatever I always say, subscribe down below and then I'll see you in a little bit.